Hello folks and welcome to Screencast. In today's video I'm going to be showing you a small application called Dropbox. For all the people who don't know what Dropbox is, it's a really cool little application. It's free and it's really useful. So when you install Dropbox, you'll then get a little icon appearing in your menu bar at the top of a little box, something like this. And what basically Dropbox is, it's like a, almost like a plug in an external drive into your Mac, so an external um, USB flash drive or something. And if you go to your Finder, you have a folder appearing like so, Dropbox. And inside this, um, in this folder, you can drop things into it, such as files and so on. Let me see if I've got a file somewhere there. Drop this video in. Basically, it syncs it to online so it stores all your files online and for free you've got two gigabytes of space which is pretty useful so as you can see any files you drop in here will then sync to the Dropbox website then you can access them via this Mac or by any other computer with basically a web browser and internet access which is really cool so what you would do is go onto Dropbox and log into the account into your account then you can access any files you've uploaded to the Dropbox. But also what's great is you've got something called a public folder. What this means, any file you've um, put into the public folder, anyone in the world can access that file via Dropbox website. And all you can do, all you have to do is go right click on it, go down to the Dropbox, then go copy public link. Then if you open up an email for example, new email, you can just copy it, the link into your email and send it. And anyone who gets this email, opens this link up, it will start downloading the file. Simple as that. So it starts to become a really useful little application, really, because you can access your files from anywhere in the world with a computer and obviously internet. But also, you can also link people to files which is really great so any file you drop into here, if it might be pictures or music even video anything you drop it into the public folder that means your friends family etc can access these files so when you've dropped your file in like so into your folder you get a little the little icon in the menu bar will show you it's syncing tell you how long it's going to be till it's finished syncing and also you get a little icon here with a little sync icon on the actual file when this is finished syncing it'll have a little tick box like so <coughs> sorry about that but um, just to recap though any any file you drop into this Dropbox folder is completely private and only only someone with your account name and password can access it but anything you drop into this public folder anyone can access that in the world so Obviously, you can send the link so people know exactly where the file is and they can access it easy. So, you get two gigs of space, but if you um, use the link in the description to your right and download it from that link, you get an extra 250 megabytes free. So, that's really, really good. But if you wish to, you can also use the pay service, which gives you more space, like up to 10 gig and so on, if you wish. But I find the free. Um, Two gigabytes, two gigabytes of space is uh, pretty decent because if you ever got like got to send loads of files to someone or loads of pictures, I definitely think using Dropbox is better than using email because when I've used email in the past, I send a lot of photos. I found the actual browsers crashed and so on, and it's been really slow, really awkward way of doing it. Whereas I find using Dropbox is a really good way of sending pictures and files. To other people and other people's computer also what's worth mentioning is you can also get a application from the iTunes store for your iPod or iPhone which is pretty cool and that just allows you to access any any of your files um, on Dropbox so if you've got any music files or video files pictures or even text documents you can access them through your iPhone or iPod and even view them or if it's music obviously listen to it or even play videos 
depending obviously what file types they are because obviously on certain file types are uh, compatible with the iPhone but that's also a little cool little application to get and I believe it's free as well so definitely worth checking out if you've got an iPod, iPhone or an iPod so yeah thanks for watching this video hopefully you find it helpful don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you later bye